Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. And this is Gizmo. We're the village's newcomers, although we've been here, what, a year and four months practically. Yeah. Well, we're into our, just about starting our third week in isolation. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's getting kind of old. I mean, we're comfortable, of course. I mean, thank goodness we still have electricity and... Uh, Running and, water. Yeah, I mean, it's not a hurricane or a flood right. or something like that. But mm -hmm. So we're home and we're doing really well. But, you know, frankly, I'm getting on our nerves a little bit. <laughs> so we need a diversion. And uh, we earlier, what, months ago, we told you that um, we had a list of television shows that we would send you if you were interested that we thought would be good for binge watching and this is the time. Yes. We've done a lot of binge watching. Yeah, we like our TV, and of course it's comfy here, and uh, we just settled back and watched some shows. And so we, we thought we would share with you uh, some of the shows that we watch. Uh, you can take notes if you like. I'll have five, she'll have five. And then at the end, we'll post them all for you, and you can see where they're available. My number five is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is uh, sort of a medieval fantasy. It's got it all. It's got princesses. It's got dragons. It has uh, fighting. It has uh, creatures. Uh, it's, it's really an amazing tale. You have to start with episode one or you'll be kind of lost. But uh, it, it's a good show. Uh, it was really the rage for a while, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And by the way, we actually, Linda and I were in London uh, what was it, maybe three years ago? And who's walking out on the street? But Jon Snow. Yes. Kid Harrington, the actor. So that was kind of cool. But we liked Game of Thrones, and we uh, we watched it all. We binge-watched Game of Thrones. Number five on my list is Doc Martin. Doc Martin is a show about a physician who is actually scared of, has a phobia about blood. So he has been banished from the hospitals and now he has a little office in Port Wynn, England. And it is just charming because he's, he's a great physician, but he's grouchy and abrupt and he has no social skills. So lots of times his interactions with people are offensive. So it's, pre it's pretty charming. You'll, you'll like it. Number four for me is a real action show. Twenty four. Twenty four is a series that takes place in real time. It has a little countdown clock to show you how things are going. And it's about a, an agent, uh, Jack Bauer, of the United States uh, Secret Service. Is he Secret Service? I think so. Secret Service, and uh, he battles all kinds of, of uh, enemies. And uh, it's a lot of action. There's not much nudity. It was a network TV show at one time. No nudity, but a lot of action, a lot of gun play. Um, it's a, a lot of suspense. It's a spy type movie. There's some twists and turns. 24, I think if you binge watch that, if you like adventure, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, I live my life by one rule. And uh, somebody told me one time, don't ever get into a car with Jack Bauer. Keep that in mind. Number four on my list is Outlander. Outlander is on Netflix and there are three seasons of this show. Ladies, you're going to love this one because it takes place in um, 1945 where this nurse, Claire Randall, uh, mysteriously ends up in 1743. Um, and she falls in love with another man, although she's already married, in 1945. And she falls in love with a man in 1743 named uh, Jamie Frazier. They call him Red Jamie because he has beautiful red hair and I'm a lady about red hair. So you will love this and who does not love a man in a kilt? Number three on my list is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Number 
This is a funny show. It's very irreverent. Uh, it, it has nudity. It has uh, terrible language, but it is funny. It's created by a guy named Larry David. He's the man that created Seinfeld. And once you watch this, you, you can just relive the Seinfeld series because it's the same kind of humor, but it's not censored at all. Uh, it's very, very funny. I love it. I think there were there are 10 seasons of it, and they're all available for you. So curb your enthusiasm. Uh, if you're easily offended, don't watch it. But if you like a good joke, if you like to laugh at yourself, because I see a lot of myself in Larry David. I know Linda does too. And uh, some of the predicaments that he gets himself into are hilarious. Curb your enthusiasm. My number three on the list is McLeod's Daughters. McLeod's Daughters is on Amazon Prime, and there are eight seasons of this. It takes place in Australia uh, about a lady, uh, well, actually, two women are running a, a ranch. Uh, it has sheep and lots of other things, but mostly sheep, sheep ranch. But anyway, it's very exciting. It's got a lot of, uh, it's a love story. It's a drama, um, and it ends up like five women end up running this ranch and it's it's charming i think a lot of you women would really like this one getting up near the top of my list number two sons of anarchy the sons of anarchy is a show about a motorcycle gang now they're based out of charming california sounds nice doesn't it charming but this show is full of extreme violence. Uh, there's some nudity. There's bad language. You know, it's the kind of show that has some very bad characters. But before it's over, you'll be rooting for these bad characters. You know, that's a bad thing when they have a show that, that gets you cheering for the bad guy. But The Sons of Anarchy is kind of like this. And it's a series. Uh, I don't know how many seasons are on there. I think six, ser six seasons. Uh, and... You'll get to know these characters, and uh, you will start liking them. And you'll see. Sons of Anarchy. My number two on my list is Poldark. Poldark is about an army officer, a British army officer. You notice I like a lot of British movies. Um, is, his name is Ross Poldark. And he returns home in Cornwall from the American War of Independence to find out that his fiancée, Elizabeth Chenoweth, believed him dead. And so she is about to marry or marries another a, a cousin of Ross Poldark. And so then it goes on with his life. And it is a wonderful drama. I think you ladies will really like it. And Number one on my list, The Sopranos. The Sopranos is the story of Tony Soprano and his family, and he is a mob character. Now, he starts off as a member of a mob, and then he becomes the leader, sort of a godfather type figure. It is a very good show, and you will get involved with these characters. You'll get to know them. Um, violent. It's a violent show. Uh, it's seedy. But uh, it's also in its way charming. It's another show like Sons of Anarchy, I told you. You'll be cheering for the bad man. That's what you'll do in The Sopranos. We really enjoyed The Sopranos. And when it came to the last episode, it was a highly publicized last episode. And I won't give it away. But if you can binge watch it till that last episode, I think you'll be happy. My number one show is N with an E. Anne with an E is really adapted from Anne of Green Gables, and some of you people have read those series. Um, it takes place in um, uh, Prince Edward Island in the late 19th century, where a brother and sister named Matthew and Marilla Cuthbert, um, past their prime, decide to take on an orphan boy and help out around their place in their ancestral farm. And... 
Anne with an E, Anne is the, the ends up being the, the adopted child. They were expecting a boy, but they end up with a girl. And so she lives on the farm with, with Matthew and Marilla and has a lot of adventures of hers. And she's just delightful. She is um, precocious. She's very brilliant. She grew up in an orphanage, and she just, her vocabulary is out of this world, and it makes you really smile trying to keep up with what she's going to say next. I think everyone liked it. Jerry really liked it, too. There you have a look at 10 of our favorites. Um, since we made that list, I've been finding more that I really like that I didn't even put on even my honorable mention list. So the list can keep growing, but those are just some that I like. Oh, I liked a lot more too. So it was hard to get down just to five. It was. There were some that made the honorable mention list. That list with uh, Rake. Rake's the story of a lawyer. That's great. It's another Australian <laughs> show. He's a character too. Cleaver Green. Yeah, he's funny. I like that. <laughs> Peaky Blinders. That's kind of a, an Irish gangster TV show. Uh, Lost. You, you remember Lost. It's a it's a modern day show. It's, it's a fantasy about some people that get marooned on an island. Right. That's kind of cool. Red Rock is a Australian show. I think so. And it's a prison uh, police type show. Yes. Very good. Lots of episodes. Mm -hmm. We loved it. We binged that whole thing and it was long. We like that too, though, because Red Rock, I think, had like tw uh, 20 minute shows. Right. Very short, but there were lots of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Broad Church, another detective show that we both liked. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we like The Shield. The Shield is a police drama. It's pretty raunchy uh, in mm -hmm. places, but it's good. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale, you love that one. I really liked it. It's a little bit, it's got a, a very interesting plot. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boardwalk Empire, another gangster show mm -hmm. that uh, that I liked. Uh, Call the Midwife is probably takes place over in, I don't know, is it England? I believe it is. And it's back in the 1900s, I believe, and it's it's really good. Yeah. And you like that, uh, oh, that other one. What was that oh, one? Oh, Bramwell. It's about... Uh, I don't know where it takes place, but it's back in early 1900s where a lady is trying, maybe even sooner than that, where she's trying to be a doctor in the man's world. Wentworth, another Australian show. It's about a prison. You guys out there that like a women's prison movies, this would be a good one for you. Yeah, and the next one is Locked Up. I really liked it, but it's all in subtitles. They're all speaking Spanish. It all takes place in a Spanish prison. You know what, that that's freaky. Uh, uh, I didn't think I would like a television series where you had to constantly read the captions. Right. Because I don't, I don't speak Spanish. No. But it was really good. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you watch Locked Up. Yeah. Well, that's a look at uh, the shows that we suggest you binge watch. There are plenty of others. I mean, my dad, we would have said, where's Bonanza on that list? <laughs> You know, that would be cool to go back and watch the old Bonanza oh. or, the, or Lost in Space or oh, whatever. We've done, but, gone back and done uh, Andy Griffith and those kind of shows, too. That's that's fun to do. So you have time to do it. And by the way, this is a time, you know how you have those old friends that you say you, sorry you didn't contact them because you didn't have time. You've got time. You do. you got plenty of time right now. This guy right here, he's got a favorite. What was it? He likes Lassie. Lassie, the story of Lassie and Timmy. Oh, that's a good show. You love that, don't you? <laughs> so lots of choices for you there. I think that uh, you can all agree that uh, mine were probably a little more interesting than hers. Oh, no, 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 no. Mine were the best. <laughs> the Sopranos, come on. The, they'll like that better. No, they'll like Poldark Outlander. Those shows from the British shows, are, they're great. Sopranos. Take us out. Until next time. See ya. When you get here. <laughs>